Your team will have sprints, with planning, estimation, review and retrospective meetings. There is a scrum master who will run these meetings. During planning the product owner will outline the tickets that need to be completed this sprint. Sounds like the perfect agile process, doesn't it? Not necessarily. You might be doing cargo cult agile. Back in World War II, the Americans arrived in the South Pacific and cut runways into various islands for aircraft to land on. The aircraft came with all kinds of goods. The indigenous people had never seen such goods before. When the war ended and the Americans left, the indigenous people thought that if they replicated the form of the runways, planes would arrive with goods on board. So they cut runways into the forest and built towers to emulate the air control towers. Needless to say, no planes full of cargo ever arrived. Cargo cult agile is when you follow the form of agile without understanding the core philosophy. It is when you hold all the ceremonies of Scrum, for example, but fail to implement rapid iteration and tight user feedback. Do you have all the ceremonies of Scrum, but lack stories coming directly from users? Are your sprints planned long in advance with specific features and deliverables? Is communication with actual users during development discouraged or impossible? If so, you might be doing cargo cult Scrum. From a cursory view, it may look very similar to Agile, but in fact the sprint has been co-opted into what is more like the waterfall model. In waterfall, each feature is delivered in a linear fashion, with no opportunity for input from users for refinement. In software, no plan survives contact with the user. When people actually use your software, you will receive feedback to modify the software towards a better fit to user needs. In an Agile team, users or user proxies are always available. We should be showing users how things look to get their feedback. We should release often. At the very least, we should be showing a test version to beta test users before code makes it to production. Often developers won't have direct access to users. Products with thousands of users need a proxy to represent them. The proxy has access to users, but is also a user themselves with domain experience. User proxies are not project managers. They are there to provide critical feedback to developers and to help write user stories that make sense from a user point of view. This proxy is often called the product owner. Are you releasing to users often? With Agile, you need both selection and iteration. It is through both that adaptation occurs. Agile is all about fostering an evolutionary approach to development rather than faith in detailed upfront design. Change should be small and incremental, not large wholesale modification. Small regular changes that are tested by users will always be better adapted than large wholesale changes made on much longer time frames. With cargo cult agile, the connection with users may be remote or perhaps not even present. If you are not releasing often to actual users, you won't be agile, even if you are following other development practices which are beneficial. Without user feedback and iteration to users, you are not employing the core philosophy of agile. Teams may adopt the form of agile, the practices of Scrum, but continue to be treated like a waterfall project from above. With Agile, the objective is to maximize business value and to ensure tight alignment between resource investment and outcomes. It does not mix well with arbitrary deadlines, fixed feature sets, and the kind of thinking where more detailed planning equals more certainty. To adopt Agile, it needs to be supported from the very top, from senior management. They need to understand how Agile works and that the name of the game is adaptation over fixed project schedules with fixed deliverables. If you try to do some form of waterfall, you will fall into a form of evolutionary process anyway. So why not start adaptive and exploit evolutionary mechanisms early? Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to see more.